without going into details and saving your time here is a simple answer. Yes Arya can kill Drogon, and it can only be done if Arya first kills Daenerys and wear her face to fool the mighty dragon. Arya as Daenerys then can make Drogon burn himself, dive into ocean, or feed him something poisonous. Without it, there is no easy way to kill a dragon now. A Reddit user Sinalato theorizes Arya will be the one to kill Drogon, leaving the killing of Daenerys to Jon. The theory relies on Melisandre's prophecy, that Arya would shut brown, blue, and green eyes. The prophecy coming true is a bit of a reach, however, and we're pretty sure Drogon doesn't have green eyes, anyway. Still, Arya might kill him if everyone agrees he's just as big a threat as Danny. After all, without Drogon, the Mother of Dragons wouldn't have been able to burn King's Landing to the ground. There is another theory being discussed. Jon Snow witnessed the Mother of Dragons massacre of King's Landing, and fans have long speculated that he would fulfill the Azor Ahai prophecy and kill Daenerys. Another theory posits that Jon will conspire with Arya to kill Daenerys while wearing the face of Grey Worm. Though many believe Daenerys becoming the Mad Queen, though foreshadowed, was unearned, series creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have heavily leaned into this storyline since the premiere of Season 8. Despite everything, Jon will most likely rule Westeros. There is another way Arya could kill Drogon, but it seems most unlikely. The Night King threw a magic spear to kill Viserion in Season 7, Episode 6, so maybe that's another option. Still, it would have to be thrown with incredible strength and velocity to pierce Drogon's thick skin. Arya might be the only one capable of killing Drogon, especially considering all the training she's had. After all, she landed the final blow to the Night King and could work with Gendry to develop a weapon made specifically to kill dragons. But many small such arrows could injure the dragon first. Still, it would need time and a close approach. Which is quite risky, and can't be a job for one or two people. According to a number of Thrones theorists, Danny's refusal to eat in Episode 5 was more than pre-pillage jitters. Rather, the now-deceased Varys may have been attempting to poison the Rising Queen, and she may have known it. Before facing death by Dragon, Varys speaks with one of his little birds, a young girl named Martha who has been tasked with bringing the Queen her meals. Yeah, Suspicious doesn't even begin to cover it. If this theory proves true and Varys's little birds continued with the poisoning plot after his execution and unbeknownst to Danny, then the Breaker of Chains could be well on her way to death's door and not even know it. Another solution to the problem is that instead of being killed, Drogon just get fed up and bails. Danny is nothing without her dragons. And Drogon is the only one left now. And she hasn't exactly been the best mom in season 8. Drogon, now the last remaining dragon in Westeros, has been through it. With both of his siblings dead and his mom gone fully off the deep end, Drogon is more than justified in flying off to hunt sheep, explore the kingdoms, and go to Dragon College or whatever. If the mother of dragons is going down, her child is going down with her. Let's hope he's leading the charge, and not a casualty of bad parenting. All these theories sound promising and have potential of being true. Luckily, we don't have to wait longer now. Meanwhile, like this video and please subscribe to my channel. See you soon.